Hey guys, Jared here from JT Garbo. Look, I'm just checking in. I'm just sitting across from 13 Luca Road. And for some of you, you'll know what this is. This is the former SMS Municipal Services North Wyon Depot over there. And it's now owned by IQ Renew, which is some sort of trucking logistics company, judging by what I'm seeing in here. Now, I came here about five, six years ago, and a company called North Wyon waste enterprises had this property and the garage still had the sm the garage doors on this building still had the sms livery the uh, sunrise streak on them the white green dark green unfortunately now obviously when iq renews moved in uh it looks almost as if they've painted that all away and removed any sms memorabilia which is really sad because i grew up around sms yeah, picking up my waist when I grew up. They're the company that started it all for me, and Dave Wilco uh, was my recycling driver, and that's how I got so interested in the garbage trucks. It was the first garbo I ever met, I ever saw when I was a baby. Uh, Ian, he always came to my house with the presents, would surprise me on my birthday, come over outside of work. You know, he, he knew, he, we, it was like he was a part of the family, and I was just the same as his. Hmm. It's a bit sad though to see there's absolutely no memorabilia on this side anymore. A bit sad that it's all gone, but when a company purchases a block of land, I wouldn't expect them to keep any of the former company's memorabilia. Uh, but it is, uh, the facility is still here. Uh, I will be supplying some images from Google Maps of what it did look like and I'll also provide the videos of when I came here about six years ago when North Wyon Waste Enterprises owned the block of land and had a little fleet of trucks here. I didn't even know where that company went. That was another company that disappeared. So I'll now provide some Google uh, Maps images of the old SMS North Wyon Depot um, as well as my video of the North Wyon Waste Enterprises that used to work out of this facility. A big thank you to Darren Perkins and his associates for the photos prior. This is the section I was talking about not long ago when I was talking about the garage roller doors having the SMS Sunrise livery stripe as it was so called back then on them. As you can see the garage doors still in 2016 as this was taken had these colours on them but nowadays they have been painted over by the new landovers of IQ Renew. I Q Renew bought the land in late 2017. Looking back at my childhood, this is the gate where the trucks came back at SMS on a weekday afternoon after their run in the Wyonshire area only. Bit sad really. To me anyway, like, I love looking at the history of the waste industry and whatnot. And even me working in the waste industry now. Hmm. It makes you really think about these companies from all these decades ago. Like, this was a prominent company in the 2000s, uh, SMS Municipal Services. I believe they've still got a depot down Sydney at Brookvale and uh, maybe another spot or two down in Sydney. Uh, yeah, I've also been talking to Darren Perkins, which is a former SMS worker. He's been sending me a lot of old photos and some stuff about the Wyon fleet and whatnot. But it's really interesting, but... I came back today, determined that six years ago I remembered seeing the SMS livery on the building, the garage doors, but unfortunately today it's uh, nothing remains of SMS. Which, as I said, was my childhood company that would come and do the garbage, and they're not in business in the Central Coast anymore. Uh, as I said, I think they've still got one or two facilities down in Sydney, 
someone could probably confirm, someone with more knowledge about that could probably confirm in the comments. But it's great to be back here. But, hmm. Anyway, that's enough of me jambering on for a bit. Something I find really cool is that the way bridge up here, or the little bay they got up here, the still got the SMS livery actually on the poles that line the way bridge, which I find really cool. As well as there's an old skip over there, I don't know if you could see it. Still got the SMS colours on it, I've just noticed, but yeah. Now I could be wrong, but I've just noticed this, and once again it does have the the SMS light green colour. I don't know if it's got any affiliation with the old SMS yard, but the little framing around this axle here, I've got a funny feeling it might be related to SMS. Just something left behind. Because by all means, it absolutely could have been, but knowing how messy this yard is by this new company, I'm guessing they wouldn't really consider throwing the majority of the stuff out. So I sort of think that might have a link to uh, SMS. I'm not too sure though. Someone could probably confirm though. Or it could ultimately be theirs that they, they own, but I'm not too sure myself. But, yeah. I think I might be paranoid, guys, because I'm coming across a lot more of stuff that's green. Just has that old tinge and sort of that reminiscent of the, um, the old SMS livery. I think I'm probably just a little bit paranoid, but... I still think there could be some correlation to that axle bed back there. But yeah, judging by how overgrown this is though, and the stuff like a little bit bit messy, not really tidy, so it'd make me that'd make me want to think more that it is probably SMS property that was never collected. Like yeah, I'll go for a little walk up here. I don't know if we can see anything through here actually. Uh, probably not. Not really, nah. It's alright. But it really intrigues me, to be honest. It really does. See, all this stuff thrown up the back here, like, you'd sort of, you'd, um, you'd sort of think, why is this all thrown up the back of the facility? There's just no reason for it. They probably don't need to use it, but then again, they, I don't think it's. I don't think all of it's SMS, but you know, you sort of get the feeling that when a company moves out of here, they're likely to leave stuff behind. Anyway, I think paranoia is the main thing in this. Probably assuming too many things that aren't quite right with this facility. But that's good to see it's still in use. It's just a shame SMS isn't around anymore. You can probably see inside what have we got in here. Looks like a almost like a recycling facility by the looks of it inside. An MRF <coughs> is the term I should use. Hmm. What the what have we got here? Looks like a Nilex. It's not an SSI shafer, it looks like a Nilex 240 litre with some weird contraption on the side of it. Not a common thing to see every day now, is it? Hey? Okay. Oh, okay. Interesting. Hmm. And some more bins up there. Oh, they're just Sulos. <clears throat> yeah, Sulos, that's what they are, yep. Broken Sulos. Hmm, okay. Well, you got some wood chipping stuff and, yeah, a lot of woodwork. Well, not really woodwork, what's the, what do I call it? Um, do that timber manufacturing stuff and whatnot, but, yeah, so you guys. <laughs> that's, I don't know if this is true as well, but... Look at the posts outside the entry, the other entry to the other side of the yard. They've got the SMS screen again. I don't know if that might have any relation, or if it's just paranoia, but it would make sense to keep that, but remove everything inside, to be honest. But I know how companies work, but anyway. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, this is Jared Taylor, or JT Garbo, at 13 Luca Road, North Wyom.
Now you can come here yourself and see the old SMS North Wyon Depot, but there's really nothing SMS related about it anymore, unfortunately. A bit upsetting, even for me. You know, I like to look at the history of the waste field on the Central Coast and through the country. So it's nice to come to these places and see what's evolved. Now I know there is a CDS clean away depot at North Wine as well, over near the Wadalba Maccas. Uh, but that's a new facility. They used to have a facility down here, which I might can't, I might drive, a, drive around and see if I could find their old clean away um, facility, but it wasn't a solid waste facility. It was a uh, so front loaders and rear loaders doing CDS work, like uh, return and earn and um, you know commercial and all that. But yeah. Anyway, anyway, guys, that'll do for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, JT Gabo at the old SMS Municipal Services North Wyong Depot, which is now owned by IQ Renew, and uh, reminiscing. I love the fact the way bridge still has the SMS colours from when they had the facility. I love that. I'm pretty sure they wouldn't, I don't think they'd have painted that into those colours. I think there's photos of them in that colours on Google Maps on, in the 2000s, so I'm pretty sure that's the original SMS colours right there, but it's nice to reminisce on these old facilities. But anyway guys, yeah, very nice. Anyway guys, I'm going to leave it there, 13 Luca Road, North Warren, you can come yourself, see the old SMS Depot, uh, it's good to come back. Anyway guys, the wait is, have a good one and take care, bye bye. I now leave you guys with some video of the SMS Wyon trucks in operation, filmed by Alex Garcia in 2006 and 7. Hey guys, Jared here, just editing the video, preparing it for YouTube. I just want to say a big thank you for watching, and also I'd like to say a big thank you to those who have contributed to this video. You know, people like Darren Perkins, Alex Garcia, and the list just goes on. Thank you to everyone involved, and uh, I'm just very intrigued about all these companies from the 2000s uh, that I'm very happy to publicise about them nearly 20 years later. So I'm very happy to do so. And if you're watching this and you know about SMS and you've got information, or maybe photos about S or of SMS, feel free to get in touch with me. My email's on my about page. I'd love to hear from you and I'd love to see your photos and what you've got to tell uh, because it is uh, very close to heart in, in my heart for me with this company. So even though I didn't work there, Still, as a member of the public and young JT, that's how it all started for me. So, by all means, please do get in touch. Uh, and yeah, but anyway, the way it is, take care. Good night.